All right, so we've got 2007 Dodge Ram, and we need to change our air filter. This air filter is actually probably not too bad, considering we live in the south. It's dry, and our filters tend to last longer than most environments I've found. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this one in. High airflow, K&N. Why? Because it's going to give me so much power designed to increase horsepower and acceleration and <clears throat> make me a drag machine and 1,000 horsepower. No, just, well, because I had a gift card, and why not? Let's change it. So let's talk about it. All we got to do is pop these snaps off. There's usually one up here, but mine is missing it, and I need to probably go get one. And I think there's one. Let's get light over here. There we go. And we got one right down there. So once you take that out, very simple. And I need to definitely get one over here. And the filter pops open. Let's try to do this one-handed. Let's get our filter out of here. And I'm gonna keep this, because this thing is still brand new. And as you can see, this filter has been on this truck probably for maybe a year, and it still looks amazing. So we're gonna keep that, just in case. When you're changing your filter, my advice, definitely take a peek down in here. And a lot of times you'll see a lot of junk and stuff. The last time I did this filter, I had a whole bunch of leaves and debris, and I just went ahead and vacuumed it out. So definitely vacuum it out, get all that crap out in there. Um, the more restriction you have, the less power you're gonna have. So just kind of common sense on that. All right, let's open up our Canon air filter right over here. Uh, let's use a knife. I'm gonna have a knife somewhere. I definitely make a mess when I do this. Okay. See if we could do this one-handed without slicing my fingers off. Let's put this down. Can't do it. All right, one-handed, open. Sorry, filter. Oh man, my sticker's already jacked up. I don't like to advertise for anybody anyways, but it's usually let people know that sticker right over here. If you have a mechanic shop, tells them, don't throw it out. Believe it or not, mechanic shops, I've seen them actually throw those $60, $70 filters out just because they didn't know. Well, or they're trying to upsell it. Ugh. Any instructions or anything good? Helpful hints, 100 million miles, verify you have the correct filter, which we do, uh, disconnect the air take, blah, 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 and that's it. This requires like no brainer to install, and you get a cool little sticker, which I'll probably put it on my wall of everything else that I have over here, or my electric box. So let's take this out the bag, which, ow, that hurt. All right. Get this right out over here. And there you go, it's our filter. So they come pre-oiled and everything and you really don't have to do anything to it. Um, they do require maintenance. I know in the south, typically, uh, we re rarely have to maintain them, unless you live in a lot of dusty roads, but where I live, I've never had an issue. So let's go ahead and, ah, it's hard to do with one hand in the camera. Let's go ahead and pop that in. All right, look at that, pretty. All right, I can feel the horsepower already. Oh yeah, look at that. Actually, it sits better than this uh, Fram air filter to be if I'm being quite honest with you. We'll put that in the box. We'll put it somewhere just to have as a backup. There we go. Now, as far as performance and is it gonna really make anything better and help the truck out? I'll be honest with you, I don't know. Ugh. There are gains and there are reviews that typically talk about it and say oh yeah you know this thing is the bee's knees I guess to say it there we go make sure these two tabs over here in the back see if I get the camera light in there make sure those two tabs right there uh, stick out through the filter and that's how you know it's in and they'll sit down and you kind of feel it click in and then you just hit these two tabs one well several tabs two three um, missing one click makes me feel better yeah definitely need to get one you want this sealed because you don't want pirated air to get in uh, you just want to count it well then again this doesn't have that little mass airflow so I guess it's not too terrible but still I'd rather have this sealed so nothing gets in or dirt gets in through here so we'll definitely get that ordered up very simple very simple easy to install literally took 
five minutes air filters in there didn't have to disconnect nothing else and now we have like a thousand more horsepower on this truck we'll get like 100 miles per gallon we'll beat tesla better than electric car we'll be good to go so just want to do this video documenting that um as far as performance and anything i don't know i really don't care i just wanted to buy it because i've never bought it and just show how to install your air filter so thanks for watching we'll see what we do next